Show Sponge here, welcome back. Today we are watching Effie KTD. I'm sorry if I ruined your name, but honestly, I tried spelling it out and I couldn't. <laughs> anyway, Effie, which I'm going to call you throughout the replay, is playing in the Brett Panther. So, the Brett Panther is a T7 American tank. Uh, American tank? No, not American tank. Um, it's French. There you go. I don't know why I had American in my head. Anyway, this thing, the Brett Panther has a 75mm gun, average damage per shot, the 135 HP, average penetration on standing range is 150mm, and the premium shells have 194mm of penetration per shot. But Effie is not loading any premium rounds in this game, he only has 4 HE and 72 of the standard rounds, the HE has 38mm of penetration. But there's 175 damage per shot, or average damage per shot. Alright, so Effie here is playing on the map Berlin, and he is in a 4T6 game. He has already spotted out a couple tanks. He's also taken a couple shots at that Jackson. He's taken down to 429 HP, brings up his damaging total up to 271. Effie does get spotted by that VK 2801. 01105, Jesus. I can't get my words out today. <laughs> anyway, if he's just sat back, just wait until he's no longer spotted. You've got to wait for roughly around 10 seconds from the last time that you have fallen back or gotten into cover. Never trust your judgment from, like, it's not 10 seconds from when that light bulb goes off. Alright, so if he's just sitting back, sniping, being patient, it does spot out the M6, which does appear to be hide behind that building. It's interesting that he can spot that tank but can't actually see it. Blocks a shot from that Jackson. This tank does have a bit of troll armor for T6. It's, it's pretty good. Well, there's the M6. It takes one shot at it. Does 138 damage to it and takes 14 damage of his own from the Jackson which fired HG. Um, I guess because he didn't penetrate to his first shell, he just thought he would load HG and try and do as much damage as possible, which is fair, but I would have personally in that scenario stuck with the AP and gone for the tracks or something. So I reckon from the Jackson's angle he would have had shots for the tracks. But anyway, he's still here, still here, that's sort of shell splashed here. So that Jackson's still firing HE blind as our hero Effie here. Just waiting, waiting, waiting. Got the VK does poke up the hill, but a little bit of delay. He does spot that Jackson, decides to drive out in the middle. Takes one shot, but it, the tracks absorb that hit. Fires a second one, does some damage, 139 damage. It brings his damaging total up to 100, uh, 548 damage, and he's now blocked 115 damage of his own. So that Jackson is now into cover, so he's just waiting and being patient at more see it, more targets that we'll be able to shoot at. Honestly, being a full tier six game and, sh and being in a, such a troll tank like this Brett Panther. I probably would have gone to help maybe support over here at uh, B8 or something across this bridge, try and contest with the mediums and uh, the TD that's currently sitting on this A-line here, uh, instead of stopping here. Like this gun does have, a, it is a very nice gun, um, it's, it's fairly accurate, um, it has a very quick rate of fire, uh, if he does get spotted by that VK, get, oh what a snapshot there, it takes out that VK. 01105 with a quick snapshot doing 120 damage to it and takes him down the game, which is nice. And Jackson decides to fire again at HE and Effie fully absorbs that shell. Fires once, fires twice. I thought that was the killing blow, but no, that's quite unlucky. Leaves the Jackson on 5 HP. Jackson does fire another uh, another AP shell. He's going back to AP now, doing 126 damage to Effie here. Which is, which is the good move for the Jackson, he should have been firing AP from the get-go, but anyway. If he's blind firing and where that Jackson was, just hoping to, you know, get that kill on him. 
but um, um, looks like that Jackson knows what if he's going to try and do and he doesn't go back into that spot. I might have to play this tank again. This this thing actually looks like quite a lot of fun. <laughs> he goes up his spot to top 64. He gets spotted himself. He falls back because he doesn't want to get spotted. But although this, like I said, this thing does have a bit of troll armor for its the T. That blocks a shot from Jackson. Fires and kills it. It's a nice killer block. He managed to block two shots there to block 230 damage. So that brings his damage in total up to 958 and his block damage at 345. That's it takes another shot at the top 64 and brings his damage in total up to 1077. Misses that shot. Surprised he is actually still sitting out here in the open, but at this I, I, I guess it's, it's working. Um, at this point, yeah, it looks like Effie's just doing exactly what I was thinking is I would have gone in rushing that type 64, rate of fire and the DPM that this thing's got, it can easily trade with that type 64. Plus we're also having that little bit of armor to block any shells uh, that's coming from that type 64. So it does have a really low caliber gun. So gotta be careful here going around because that KV-2 and that ARL 44 can actually shoot Effie here. The ARL does take a shot, but Effie says, nope, you miss, I'm gonna kill ya. <laughs> All right, the top 64 sneaks around the corner. Damage is in Effie here for, what was that, 138 damage. That brings his HP down to 662. HP out of 940. Damage in total up to 1,231. Blocked 345. And he's got a little bit of assistance now, which is 250 because he's moved forward. Which is good because the assistance and also the damage actually helps with the ace tanks and stuff for the people that are actually grinding those ace tankers. He's rushing now into the city or town, whatever you want to call it. Trying to secure clean up here in the, in the town. He, first off, he takes out the KV-2, fires three shots, but still manages to get the kill. He takes a shot from the Panzer, the uh, Jag Panzer IV, which is also again firing AP. He takes out another 199 HP of his, of his HP pool. He does fire two or three times, I wasn't really watching there. Securing the coolest kill on that Jag Panther, and now he's looking at that M6 gold. There's my top gun, thank you very much. That's six kills to our hero Effie here. Damaging total up to 1,479. Ooh, takes a shot of the VK31 OP, 197 damage. You can't really trade much more in here, Effie, but be careful with your HP. Tries to get the kill on it, but unfortunately misses his shot on the Coppola. Just like, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, barely misses the artillery shell, stuns for 10 seconds, but that's funny. Oh, I don't know if I would have used the med kit there, being five, 10 seconds, probably wouldn't have either. Uh, so he's just moving forward. Look, it's just at 88. That's a very hard spot to see. Him. This is where the premium rolls rounds would have come in handy, because you know you'd be able to easily farm that 88. But it's all good. Is this 88 even moving? It doesn't look like it. Anyway, so it's just firing away. Like I said, this is where the AP uh, the APCR rounds would have come in handy, so you can guarantee the penetration per shot and keep that DPM happening. But it just looks like he's just going through like it's butter anyway. Who, who needs those a, um, APCR rounds, right? <laughs> All right, so it's just farming away. It's like, wow. He literally killed majority of that tank. He, that tank took one damaging shot from Friendly, and that was it. All is left now is the SU-8. KV-2 misses. Can Effie get that kill on it? It takes a shot. Oh, it takes four damage from the artillery. At least he now is knows now he doesn't have to worry about it as much and he goes down to the Hellcat. All right that's a pretty good game last fast pace let's head over to the post game results. Here we are at the post game results so that game was an ace tanker he got a fire for effect he got a duelist medal got a bruiser got a hand of god and he got a top gun for the six kills that he got. Seven kills, sorry, my apologies. Uh, he got 2,307 damage and 1,496 base experience. He is playing with a premium account and he fired no premium rounds because he didn't have any loaded. He makes a nice profit at 123,051 credits after tax of repairs and all the ammunition he fired. So overall, that's... Not a bad, not a bad tank at all. I must, I'll be honest, I haven't played the Brett Panther in ages. I must 
go in and uh, take some rust off it or something like this, just to, uh, you know, <laughs> see if I can get pull off a gameplay like this. <laughs> anyway, Effie and Stewie JP. Stewie was actually the one who allowed me to take the replay from him. And thank you, Effie, for submitting it in general. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Peace out.